All right. Um, I've already taken a number of clips uh, about the activity today, but uh, um, so there, uh, what I'll do is uh, format things in, in sequence. So during the day, as I've been taking clips, um, and uh, be able to show you what progress has been made. This particular clip is going to be showing the arrival uh, and bringing in of the countertops into the, uh, the house. So it'll be good to see. Oh, while I'm here. So today we had the rest of the ductwork being installed with the HVAC. It's ready to go, except for a drain. Nope. Good. You see what they were doing. They roughed up the edge on the truck yet. Roughed up the edge here. So we cut into the stone. Oh. Probably where they're going to glue it together. Yeah. We'll cut a little bit more. So there's going to be another scene here.
Okay, it's the end of the day, and I'm going to give you a roundup as to what was actually uh, uh, accomplished today. Um, so I'm in the garage, and it's been used essentially as a staging ground or a workshop for the creation of window boxes and for cutting the casing and trim. Um, and the uh, various pieces of siding are still in here as well, but uh, they have been decimated because we have complete sides done at this point, or at least the majority of this side is close to completion. I'm going to go around the back. As you can see, nothing has happened here. Um, contractor Jay has gone to pick up uh, the siding that will be uh, fit here tomorrow. Um, and then they'll be working on completing the siding up there. Uh, it's sitting on the ground over here. And they've been working at it uh, quite diligently. I'll go upstairs to show you more of the detail of what they're doing up here. Uh, it's finished. Uh, maybe I should show it to you. So they're working on uh, putting the thermal wall up in that area. So it's the, the area between the two roofs. And uh, it has yet to be completed. Um, even this first section uh, has a lot to happen yet. Because there are multiple layers of styrofoam that need to go up there cut around the window at the same time. So the piece of plywood that you see up there So I've uh, had a suggestion that I put an extension on the vent cover um, so that we can keep it out of the snow uh, later on in the, um, the winter when the snow piles up. Um, I think I'll take that uh, uh, on advisement. I still need to figure out how to deal with the heat loss that's going to occur through that particular uh, four inch opening and I think I've got that figured out to manually. I think I'm just going to put the uh, plug uh, styrofoam plug into uh, the opening from the inside uh, now that I've got a magnetic um, attachment. Uh, so here you can see that the back side is not complete yet. Um, the, the soffits to a large extent are um, and the fascia is on the back side but the fascia is not complete yet on the front here. And it looks like Chris it's totally revamped. The entire section here. Okay, so I don't know if you can hear me over this, but uh, Chris just told me that what he did was finish off the top pieces, and then line them up with the front side, and essentially sliding everything up a little bit, so that we'll end up with a complete um, piece of siding in here and it'll match up rather than having that little piece that you see down there it'll match up to the front side so it'll be, uh, 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 the front side is basically finished except for that small little strip that you see there and it's uh, symmetrical along the entire front side. So it's looking good, very good. Okay, it's quite windy and the front door, we do have the handles for the doors 
Uh, that door has a handle on it because they used to be the, the it still has the handle on it. So this that used to be the front door. Still has the handle on it. And this one doesn't, but it doesn't have a lock on it. And so our front door now has a deadbolt that we are using to actually close the door and keep it closed. Otherwise it blows in and things start falling off the wall and who knows whatever else is going on. Right. Um, nothing has happened down here because this is basically finished. You just heard the door uh, as a result of negative pressure or positive, yeah, negative pressure inside here. And so here you see the back of the front door. I'm just going to change my shoes a second. Put some slippers on. We've got a couple of wood um, shoe racks down here that we're using. And they're very, very nice to uh, organize things. And as you can see, Trisha started to decorate. So there's some of the art and a mirror that she's got at the front door. There's more to come. And then another piece with some fun sunflowers on the little bureau here. And here you can see the countertops finished. But apparently we can't dance on them until tomorrow. Um, there is a very, very, well, it's almost possible to see the actual scene there. And there's another one here. But uh, we should be able to get our faucets in there. In the faucet here. All the plumbing is going to be uh, happening tomorrow. And uh, I guess the dishwasher is going to come upstairs as well then. So all the drawers can work now. So we'll get all of that organized tomorrow. Let's see what else has happened in here. Oh yeah, got a, another picture of flight behavior on the wall. Uh, I don't think anything else has changed in here. They've got the box around the uh, sliding door. Um, that one is not finished yet. That was the, uh, the window that I was just talking to you about outside that now has one, two, three layers of styrofoam, but it needs probably another five or six. Uh, this one needs a box around it yet. And then the window needs to be installed in each one of those. So we've got a ways to go. Um, maybe they're a quarter of the way. Right, and over here, can't use the shower again because all the faucet pieces from the kitchen are in the shower. And they'll be there until tomorrow. And then in our bedroom, Trisha put another piece of wall. This is Bay of Fundy. and what dreams may come so she did not do bay of fundy it's actually an enhanced uh photograph but uh, patricia did paint what dreams may come from the film uh robin williams film and we now have sliding doors that fit uh, not a hundred percent And the box is around. 
this as well. Um, we also had the HVAC person in and they fixed the uh, mini split. So now when we turn it on, we don't have to cringe because it actually works appropriately. I don't know if you can hear that, but it was um, causing a whole bunch of problems before. The fan was hitting on a piece of plastic and uh, making a racket, and now that is fixed. Great. I'm just going to sign off uh, and see if I can splice all of this together and uh, give you a comprehensive package as to what actually happened today. Talk to you soon.